Halloween's over, but the scary stuff is still all around. One of the scariest things we can think of here at Grit TV is a Senate without Russ Feingold. But that's not the end of the creepy prospects in Wisconsin. David King, the Republican nominee for Secretary of State of Wisconsin, is running for a statewide constitutional office that is second in line to the governorship after the lieutenant governor. And he's accused of rape. A Tea Party favorite who appears at events with Ron Johnson, Feingold's challenger for the Senate, King, who calls himself Apostle David King and runs a ministry called Milwaukee God Squad, has been sued by a woman who claims he got her so drunk that she passed out and then he got her pregnant. According to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, her lawsuit is for battery, violation of privacy, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and negligent supervision on the part of By Seasons, where she was hired by King to work. He's denied the charges, of course, and it'll be months before we know the truth, but it is noteworthy that this story has been out there in the Sentinel for days with no national pickup. King is far from alone in the creep lineup that made it to the ballot this election. There's Rich Lott, the Republican Tea Party nominee for Congress from Ohio's 9th, who'd like to dress up as a member of the Waffen SS and called it harmless fun. The North Carolina candidate, Ilario Pontano, who was charged with murdering two unarmed civilians in Iraq when he was deployed there. And in Wisconsin, an accused rapist. The lesson? In a political climate of sweep the bums out, there's always the matter of who's sweeping in. And elected or not, there's the question of how so many creeps got so far. That's the question that will last long after this election.